Let's write the empirical formula for methane. We'll also take a look at the molecular formula and structural formula for methane as well. Let's start out with the molecular formula. That tells us the number and type of each atom in the methane molecule. So if we look at the molecular formula, that is CH4. We have the one carbon, we don't write the one, and four hydrogens in each molecule of methane. For the molecular formula, it often doesn't really tell us how the atoms are arranged or their three-dimensional structure. For that, we need what's called a structural formula. For methane, this is what the structural formula looks like. Again, we have one carbon and four hydrogens, but now we get a better idea of how they're bonded together. We might even draw the structural formula like this here to give us a better idea of the three-dimensionality of the molecule. For the empirical formula, that's the simplest whole number ratio of the atoms. So if we look at methane right now, our molecular formula, we have a one to four ratio. We can't reduce that any further and still have whole numbers. So it turns out for methane that the molecular formula, that's the same as the empirical formula. We have one carbon for every four hydrogen atoms. And you can see that in the structural formula here for methane. This is Dr. B with the empirical formula, structural formula, and molecular formula for methane, CH4. Thanks for watching.